Um, yeah, I mean, it coincides with you and then being here at this time. But can we just take it um, and 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 talk about the sad news of Amazulu losing Obong Induli, a brother to you, played with him for so many seasons, and Usebenzile na Niazana na as we speak, Guno Usebenzo Mukuru Kubega KZN. And just take us through your thought, knowing that he has passed on. Uh, first of all, I would like to pass on my condolences to his family, uh, the whole Nduli family, and the whole Amazulu family. Uh, it's such a sad moment for everyone in football. Uh, I played with Wong, he's such a free spirit, good guy. Uh, I've known him for years. Uh, when I got to Amazon in my first season, he's one of the guys uh, who was there. So it, uh, it was a sad news to, to hear about such. Uh, hopefully, they can find courage and strength to continue, uh, especially for his kids also. Uh, so it's a, it's a moment that uh, we don't want to face as humanity, but uh, it's a moment that we all know it's, 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 it's bound to happen at some point. It's unfortunate it's all happened so early to him. Uh, so it's, it's a really sad time. Uh, and uh, hopefully the funerals today is, 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 is happening and it's, it's for help. And for me, it's just a sad moment because I, I know the guy. Uh, I've shared a lot with him. So uh, it's just, I will pass on my condolences to him and his family. Mm -hmm. you, 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 let's just take on to what we are about here in Amplanje. Uh, there's one event that you might not want to avoid, the Soy to Derby. No, the preparations have gone well. Uh, mostly about recovery for most guys that played yesterday. Uh, so we, we are trying to focus uh, all our energy on Saturday. Uh, we, we know that uh, it's a big magnitude game. Uh, a lot is at stake, uh, but uh, for us, three points is massive for us. Uh, we are trying to catch up and climb the ladder. Uh, we're not where we want to be as a team, uh, so we, we have to make sure that we get the points on Saturday. The last time we spoke with the eight final, um, you said you hope that Lisa is, can stay fit and back because he's one of the best players in the team. And then we all know what happened in that final. Yeah, it was amazing day. Just how has it been playing with him again? Uh, uh, firstly, I'm so happy for Lisa. Uh, we've missed him, as I said before. <laughs> uh, we've missed him, as I said before. Uh, so having a guy like that uh, in international, uh, in, our, in our team, uh, does a lot for our team. Uh, we know his qualities, uh, and it's there for everyone to see. Uh, it brings also the best in all of us uh, who are around him, uh, everyone in the team, also the competition in the team. It makes everyone better. So to have him back, it's so so good for us and so good for the team. Uh, we've seen the impact already. Uh, hopefully, he stays injury free, and we continue to be competitive as a group. Uh, and I know that is going to help us a long way in the season. Uh, we need his qualities, and so we, so do the guys that are out now. We need them back also. Hopefully they can come back also. So yeah, his impact has been huge for us, and we appreciate his qualities. Capello, I want to ask you: the derby is the biggest game in Africa from a fan perspective. I want to ask you: does it still hold the same weight for you guys as players? Obviously, it's not a top of the table clash. But do you still have that sleeplessness, the butterflies? Does it still hold that magnitude of what the derby should? If it didn't, we are at the wrong place. Uh, we all watch the derby when we were kids. Uh, so to be here representing our clubs and not think that uh, it's, it's got a big thing to, to, to South Africans, it's, it's going to be injustice to, to our supporters. Uh, it's still a big game, uh, regardless of what anyone says. Uh, yes, the teams sometimes are not in good moments. Uh, it happens. It's a cycle of football. Sometimes that does happen. Uh, but uh, it will never change. Uh, these two teams are one of the best teams and one of the greatest teams in Africa. So we have to make sure that even us, we play our part in making their history better. Uh, so we, we will never take it lightly and think that it's just another game. The stats are against you. Kaiser Chiefs has had an upper hand. Uh, you know, when it comes to derbies, although you, you guys always fight it out. How much do you need this one, particularly looking at where you are? I mean, you're sitting at number nine on the lock table and you still need to go back to the continent. How much do you need to collect points on this one as you've already started in your midweek game? Uh, just as I've said, it's on us uh, to change the history of the clubs. And us, players now currently, 
we have to play a part also in that. Uh, we can't change the results uh, of, of the past. We were not here, some of us, but we can play a factor in the current results. So we have to make sure that we just apply ourselves correctly and try and get the results because we need the points uh, more than more than them, I would say, because uh, we know where we, we don't we not where we want to be. Uh, we've dropped some points recently, but uh, we know that uh, we will pick ourselves up and continue climbing up the ladder. The positive results that you got on Tuesday, uh, what massive impact does it have leading into the game against Kaiser Chiefs on Saturday? Uh, it's huge. It's huge, not only for us uh, as players and the technical staff, but for the supporters. Uh, you need our supporters to go to the games with confidence. Uh, so having that result was good for us and huge for us because it gives them that confidence to come in numbers and support us on, on Saturday because we're going to need their support. Uh, they've been there with us uh, in good times and we appreciate their support even though we were not doing well but they were still singing for us. Uh, so we appreciate that now it's time for us to, to do right by them and get the results that they need. Can, we'll, we'll you, can you tell us the magnitude of wearing the Orlando Pirates armband? We know you share the responsibility with Tino, obviously, but just on you in a personal capacity, what is the magnitude of, of donning that? Uh, for me, I don't like to really uh, pinch myself in, in moments like this because uh, it will take my focus away a bit. Uh, yes, it's a huge thing for me uh, as an individual. But uh, I would think I would focus on those when my career is finished. I think it would be better that way because now if I think about it, then I might be finding myself in uh, Club 9 and not focusing on the job at hand. So for me, I just try and help the team as much as I can with the responsibility that I have, uh, with the experience that I have. And I know that there's a lot of leaders in the team. So we, we help each other as much as we can. We try and, and, and pull one direction as a group and as a unit.